Hello, my fellow sheltering in place sixth grade science kiddos. This is Earth. Sort of. But you can see that it's broken. It's broken up into the tectonic plates. Mostly. I kept some of the bigger pieces together. Because that would be really hard to cut out with my scissors. And we're not going to be able to fit all of Earth into my pan. Because the Earth is pretty big. And the pan, that's the biggest one I have. So, is what it is. What we are going to do is we are going to simulate the movement of these tectonic plates on Earth. And we know that beneath the crust that the tectonic plates are sitting on, yes, even under the ocean, right there, the Pacific Ocean. Hello, Hawaii. Even under the ocean, there is crust, oceanic crust. Remember from last week? Continental crust, where the continents are. Oceanic crust, where the oceans are. But you can see that, look at this, this North American plate it has continental and oceanic crust. So it's not just the continent that is a tectonic plate. And it's not always just one continent. This is part of Asia. Cool. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some milk to the pan and that is going to be our outer core. We'll pretend that the pan, at least this bottom part, is our inner core because it's solid. And the milk, milk is gonna be my outer core because it's liquid. What is the mantle gonna be? I'm glad you asked. The mantle is gonna be this delicious hot chocolate. What are the marshmallows? They were what I had, that's what the marshmallows are. Okay, and then afterwards I have delicious hot chocolate to drink. It's nice. So let me get everything ready and I'll show you what we're looking at. Okay, so here's the milk in our liquid inner core, not inner core, excuse me, my mouth fart outer core, liquid outer core. I don't know how much I need. This sounds about right though. I'll let you see a little bit of this. Eh. Here we go, adding the mantle. Am I gonna use all of it? I don't really know. Okay, so here's our mantle. You can no longer see the outer core. And now I'm gonna start to put our tectonic plates on there and make the world, or at least part of it. Cause again, the world is just too big to fit in my pan. Well, at least we got the important one, America. <laughs> Just kidding, that's for funsies. All right, so we got our North American plate, we have the Pacific plate, here's the Nazca plate, and the South American plate. The African plate sort of fit, but not really. So, sorry Africa. Love you, never visited you, but want to. All right, and definitely cannot get that Antarctic plate on there, that's just ridiculous. So I guess we'll have a couple of plates. But Miss Henderson, how are we going to simulate the heat from the earth? Well, I'm glad you asked. The stove turned on the fire. So what, what is happening? This is the heat deep within the earth's crust. That's a dog toy. Deep within the earth's crust and it's going to start to warm up our milk and it's going to start to boil. And in that boiling is what kind of a current? Do you know? No. That's because you're in fifth grade. Exactly. Next year you'll know. It's the convection current, and that's going to be our convection current. So I guess I misspoke then. I guess I misspoke then. Since the convection current's going to happen inside the milk, that would make the milk our mantle. And this will be the crust, the tectonic crust that you just can't see. It's our crust that makes up our plate. And here's our stuff on top of it, just to show you what it looks like, because it's prettier with pictures, right? It's not a perfect simulation, but it works good enough, guys. All right, so the pictures aren't going to work like I wanted them to. That's fine, though. But you can see we're starting to have the formation of a tectonic plate right there. It's cracking. We're going to have another one forming right here, and maybe a little one coming right there. And it's going to crack our crust, and then they're going to start to move because of that convection current that is already beginning to happen inside of the milk, our mantle. Yay, science! Works even with hot chocolate and milk. With some marshmallows thrown in for bunsies. Look at that. This is that fault line, right? Let's say this is California. Bye, guys! See you never! Just kidding. Just kidding, California. Although they are. I've been told they're coming for our water. 
but not now because we're all self-quarantining. Okay, so here we go. So we have another one going all the way across that way. This one's starting to show up more. This one's really definitely splitting off. And this is very cool. So, I mean, it's not a perfect way to show you convection currents and stuff, but I think it's pretty good.